Sherry here. So, sorry my video last week was pretty short, but um, I didn't have much time to record it. And obviously I like to get one out every week. Um, and I think I said in my last video I was going to talk about like, blending this one, so I'm going to do it. Um, so, I can't even think what date it was now. Um, 4th of, no, yeah, 4th of March, um, oh god, that was an early start, woke up at, uh, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, half past 5, um, I was over at my mum's house, woke up about 5 o'clock, half past 5, uh, the coach was picking us up at 7, so obviously we had to get to the coach, what's the coach, bus station at um, well, before seven o'clock. So we left the house at half se uh, half six, um, parked the car wherever we parked it, and then walked over to the um, bus station. I think the bus was um, five or ten minutes late. Which I find funny because we got to London Victoria about um, five or ten minutes early. So somewhere along the line they made up time. Um, I think not much happened on the coach. Uh, do we stop? I mean it's obviously the pickups, but I don't think we actually stopped on the way down like a services or anything I don't think um so the journey down here was uneventful really um it was about five hours previously I think it was about five hours getting there something like that and about four hours coming back I'm not sure how it was quicker getting um coming back than it is getting there I don't know um yeah, so uh, we got there just before 12, I think, midday, and we, apparently we couldn't check in until 3 o'clock, so um, we were walking around for a while, I mean it was pretty much walking around Hyde Park for a while, um, and then when we did come out of Hyde Park, I think we were looking for some which other drink. And we couldn't find something, so we ended up going into... Um, I can't remember what shop it was now. But they had like a machine that done tea, coffee, hot chocolate and all that. So I had hot chocolate, but I had coffee. Um, and then we went back to Hyde Park and sat in the park. Um, it wasn't raining, it was spitting. But it wasn't pouring down or anything, so that was lucky. Um, yeah, I think we, we, we then found a hotel, um, and it was about half past two, and they were letting us check in. Um, it kind of sticks in my mind, because when we went to check in, um, they had this TV screen behind, not... not Hang on, should I put this out? Alright. This is where the entrance is. It was seats over there, lift there, dining there, with a bar there. Um, and then there was like a bit of a reception in, a bit of a reception there, unless it was a different part of the reception now, I'm not sure. But it, it was kind of like L shaped. Um, so we were there checking in, and there was a telly on this wall over here. And my mum was standing there, and I was standing there. She was like facing this way, I was facing that way. And I looked up at the telly and um, my mum is a fan of Shane Warne. And I like just happened to glance up at the telly that had, um, I think it was BBC, I don't know if it was BBC News or Sky News, one or the other. And um, I think it was BBC News, I could be completely wrong. And I, I, I noticed breaking news about um, Shane Warne dies. And 
I, I said to my mum, I said, have you seen that? About Shane Warne? Or Shane Warne has died or something. And she looked at me. Well, not looked at me, but she like, um, she was like, oh yeah, of course he has. Because, you know, you didn't expect it. I mean, what was he, 52? So, um, yeah, and I said, no, look, it says on there, it says on the news. And, um, yeah, so checking in that day sticks to my mind because, like, we literally went into the hotel and that was what we saw or anything. Um, I mean, she says she's, she's a fan of his, but, I mean, she didn't react to it. I mean, she was shocked and taken aback and all that, but, I mean, I remember hearing about more Morris Gibb and Robin Gibb, because Robin Gibb, you kind of knew. Morris Gibb, I remember that day, I remember hearing it on the radio, I mean, I could watch a BG sing on telly or a music video or listen to a song, and it was still like, It would still make me think, I, 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 I want to say tear up, you know, I mean, so I mean, I, I'm a huge fan, she wasn't as much a huge fan of Shane Warne as I am of the Bee Gees, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, so went up to the room, I say up to the room, we went down to the room, um, and... But yeah, I think we watched something on telly. My mum watches um, Lingo, I think it was. So she was watching that. I rang my dad, I think, to see we got there and um, asked how the dog was because we were looking after the dog. Uh, we were looking after the dog? He was looking after the dog, I should say. And, um, and yeah, then we got changed. And then we went out. And, all right, it annoys me because my mum said, all right, we're going to go out for dinner while we're there. So make sure you um, bring something smart to wear and smart shoes. So I had my, um, I don't know what I did wear now. What did I wear? Or whatever I wore, it was smart anyway. I can't remember what it was. Um, and my, um, my boots. Um. And then like we left the hotel, um, and I'd never been to Harwich. She had, so we went to Harwich. Oh my God, all the stuff in, not all the stuff, I mean, the, the stuff in there, the price of stuff. Oh my, I mean, it's expensive, I know that, but wow. Um, yeah, so we went in there, and then um, she was on about going for some tweet to where they'd gone before, so we headed that way. Um, I don't think we were looking for. I think we were looking for Roland Lambert Hall as well, but I don't think we saw it that day. Um, no, we missed it. We missed it because we literally. I had to go past it to get to the police we went for some tweet, yeah, so we kind of saw it in, but it was dark. Um, yeah, so we went uh, to have something to eat. Oh my god, that food was nice. Expensive, but it is London. Um, yeah, and then we headed back to the hotel, had a drink there, and then went back to our room. Um, but what annoyed me? Where I said my mum was not really so smart. I think she had jeans on and whatever. It really nervous. And, um, like I said, I was wearing my boots. And she said, Why did you wear your boots? And I'm like, Because you told me to wear something smart when we went out. Oh, yeah, but you could have wear your trainers. You know, we've got to be doing walking. And I was like, I'm to do with what you told me to do. So, next time, 
I can remember just wearing my trainers. And she said, why are you wearing your trainers? I'll be like, because you know what happened last time. Yeah, anyway. So, um, yeah, so the following morning, I think we were up early because breakfast was between seven. I, I know it changed. I can't remember what day it changed. I don't know if it was a weekday it changed or if it was a Sunday it changed. I can't remember. I hope it changed on one of the days or two of the days. But um, I, it was either seven till half. No. no. I think it was seven till ten. And then one of the days it was half seven till half ten. So, and it was always busy like between nine and ten. So we, um, I think it was about eight or something we went down, I can't remember. Um, a breakfast, like a buffet kind of thing. Um, and then I think we actually left the hotel then about half ten. Um, and that, I think that day, yeah, we did walk straight through Hyde Park to get to um oh so so we came up by the Royal Albert Hall. Um and something was going on that day because there was a coach outside like dropping people off. And later that day when we had something to eat that evening, people were in the pub that were then going to see something at the Royal Albert Hall. So um Something was going on that day, but I, I know so much is going on in that place, but I mean, the one thing that stuck in my mind, even though I've never seen a show in there, with I know Sunset Boulevard was there, beginning of December, was it beginning of December? It must have been beginning of December, I think that was was in it. Um, yeah, so we went down there, took a few photos, then, um, oh my god, we went for a walk. We literally didn't get back to have something to eat in that place, same place as we went in the night before, until about six ish. We literally were walking the whole, well, not the whole time, but most of the time. We literally went down by Downing Street, no, hang on, Horse Guards Parade, Downing Street, um, Big Ben. I was the Parliament obviously because I was back by Big Ben. Um, over Westminster Bridge, down the steps, long slide the River Thames, past the Linden Eye, um, past, God, I'm going to go past, um, where this morning was filmed, um, by. I can't think of the name of the place now, but where the Iron Lady thing was, um, premiere was, because I went to it and I remember being there, we standing under Waterloo Bridge. Um, where else? The Globe. <coughs> the Globe Theatre. And then there was the, um, then we did have a drink in one of the places down there. Um, um, then, I can't remember what way we went then. But then we came up by like where the shard is. I'd seen the shard from driving past it in a ta oh I wasn't driving. But in a taxi coming back from Greenwich when I went to see Barry Gibb in the O2. Um that was the closest I've been to it, but this I was like literally looking up at it. Um then we went over whatever bridge we went over, because the next bridge along was then Tower Bridge. And I'd never been that close to Tower Bridge. I didn't even know how far up the river Tower Bridge was. Um, yes, yeah, so we walked along the, um, whatever bridge it was, came out by... I can't remember where we came out by now. I want to say it was around where the... What's the name of the... Um, what do they call the, the um, building? It's the walkie-talkie, something like that. Um, and then, I can't remember, we, oh yeah, we went down to um, St Paul's Cathedral, um, I can't 
come where we were from then. I know we were then heading towards like where the West End is. So it was like, I mean, as soon as I spotted where the Lion King was, then I was like, okay, Lion King's there. I know um, Cinderella is, oh, we were coming from this way. I think we were coming down, Fleet, no, Fleet Street, I think that was the fourth. St Paul's. But anyway, when we come up to the West End bit, we were just say we were there, and I think Waterloo Bridge was there. So when we're looking over that way, I could see, um, I can't remember the name of the theatre, but where the Lion King is. I want to say the Adelphi, but it's not the Adelphi. Hang on, let me just Google it because that's going to bug me out of the way. I don't even know how he pronounced that. The Lyceum? It's L Y C E U N. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce that. But, um, yeah, I see that for the two ways of lying thing on there. And I was like, okay. So when we went to see Mamma Mia before, it was literally ahead of us. The, Brain King thing and the bridge was it so it was there. So when I saw that I like looked up this way and I was like here's in the middle, here's where your mouse is doing everything. I don't know what word I was gonna use that I, I don't know. Um yeah so actually at that time no at that time I think it was between shows at that time. Um Um, so I think then, and then we headed down to, towards Trafalgar Square. Um, we were going to go down the mile towards Buckingham Palace, but then we ended up going another way. Um, I can't remember what street we were at by then. Build the shops around that way. And then, yeah, and then we kind of come back the way. We went back the way we came originally. So we did come past Buckingham Palace originally. Um, on the way. I don't know why I didn't mention that earlier. Um Yeah, so then we were heading back to the um thing. How's that to eat? Went back to the hotel. We actually had an I was saying earlier actually I did fall asleep straight away. But we're back in the room probably about mm, half nine ish, something like that. Ten ish maybe. Um yeah, so I was up next day, got up early ish, had breakfast. Then we had to check out by whatever. Well, I think we could check out at 12, but our coach was at 12. So we left pretty much as soon as we had breakfast and sorted our stuff out, checked out, headed back. I, I wanted to make sure we had enough time to get there because, I mean, when I went with my mum, when we went to see Mamma Mia. We literally gave ourselves however long. We literally only just got to the coach station. Not down to me, down to her, because she decided by back up Paris. Oh, I'm gonna make a phone call. And then she finished on the phone call. And then as we were gonna cross the road, they had the household cavalry or whatever um soldiers it was doing their march going into the thing so obviously nobody could cross at that point and I was like typical we need to get to the game she hadn't been on the phone we could have got across there before the butch cleared that road Thank three we got there anyway we got there were about 20 minutes to spare so um my mum got a drink then it was actually cheaper there than it was anywhere else which surprised me because I thought it'd be more expensive in a coach station um yeah so we went I got there and then I got a bus journey back. We did stop on the way back in Cardiff um, in the service station, the same service station as the last time when me and my mum went. Um, yeah, I, I can tell you, my um, legs, I mean, I think from Friday evening up until Monday morning, my legs were aching and I think if I 
had a break from walking after the Friday, my legs would have been fine. But it was literally that non-stop walking pretty much on the Saturday. Oh my God. Yeah, but I was like, oh, my legs ever going to get back to normal. <laughs> but they did. Um, yeah, so... It was a nice hotel we stayed at. I mean... I'm just trying to think. Would I rather... I wasn't sure of the way to get to the hotel when we went to um, London in September. Because, I mean, I, I wasn't sure. But obviously, knowing the way to the theatre and then over the bridge to the thing, yeah, then I could... I saw, I think I'd rather stay at the, the hotel we stayed at then compared to the one now, even though we had breakfast in the one we got that we stayed in this time. But I mean, it was literally quite the walk to get over that way. I don't know. I just wish there was one that was cheap enough. That was like, just say, in Convert Gardens. So you literally got Trafalgar Square, got all the shops, got Leicester Square, got Novello Theatre and the Savoy Theatre and whatever other theatre. I know there's a whole lot of theatres that there's something called the name Snow. Oh, and the uh, Prince of Wales Theatre. I know that's not far from Leicester Square because I remember when I went to see Mamma Mia oh, way back. I, I, do you know what? It's for me. I went to see Mamma Mia back in, I think it was 2008, 2009, I think it was 2008, it was after I'd seen the film. And it was in the um, Prince of Wales Theatre. See, my mum had seen it before in the Prince Edward Theatre, where it originally was. Then I seen it with her in the Prince of Wales Theatre. So we went to see that, but we didn't go down that way. I was working out, we went back up there when we came out of the place. And then I think it was a couple of weeks later, I was going to the, um, it wasn't the premiere as such, it was like the Civic Festival of like the film thing, and it was um, Fantastic Mr. Fox. And I was hoping to see uh, Carol Street play, but she wasn't there. Um, so, I think... We have to get, I can't remember where to get something to like get space by the railings, I'm not sure. But anyway, before we actually like done that, we went um, have a look around and we went down, like, I think we went to KFC or something, which is like down there for the rest of square was here and we went down there. And it was like, you over there? I was like, that's where I went to see my mummy, like literally weeks before. I didn't realize I was that close to Leicester Square though. Um, yeah. And obviously when I went this time, I went to the novello and I do it's, it's just funny, I'm like, I've seen it twice, two or three theatres have been in, my mum's seen it in all three theatres. I cannot remember, I, I mean I don't even know who was doing it when she went to see it um, originally. I can't remember who done it when. I went to see it. I, I know Tanya was, I can't think of her name, but she was in Crossroads. And Sophie was, um, oh, it was somebody that was in, you know that the thing that done, um, how would you solve a problem about Ria? I don't know if it was that or one of those kind of shows. Somebody that was in there. Um, she was Sophie. That's all I can remember about that. I mean, I know now, like in Mamma Mia, I mean, it's pretty much the same people now as it was when I went to see it. There was Maz, that's why I went to see it, Richard, um, Josie, uh, Gemma, Alexandros, I hope I got that name right. Because he had a photo of me and my mother. Um, 
I mean, get a photo taken. Give him a photo of my mother. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like I said, the time I went to that um, fantastic Mr. Fox thing, went there to see Meryl. She wasn't there. She was, um, probably she was unwell or something. I can't remember. And then the second time I went was to the red carpet. Um, I can't even think what year it was. I don't even know what it was for. But it was red carpet for BAFTAs. Was it the BAFTAs? Yeah, it was for the BAFTAs. And I remember we had to get up early. I don't, don't even think we had breakfast that day. That morning anyway, at the hotel. Because we had to get up to get the... I don't know if it was like a wristband. I can't remember. We had to queue up for that and then we could do whatever we want until like whatever time. Um, hoping that... Uh, oh, that's not mad. Meryl was going to be there. And she wasn't there. I mean, I was not close to Prince William. And Colin Firth, I think. Definitely remember Prince William. Maybe Colin Firth. Um, yeah, and then the third time. I mean, there's probably a few times between that, um, like, a lot of times I, I could have gone down there, but I was like, mm. And then I was like, all right, the Iron Lady premiere. She has to be there. I mean, she was the Iron Lady in the film. So um, I remember going down. I can't remember what time it was. We went down to. Um, I want to say it's the BFI uh, place, which just happened to be, well, most of the um, the railings and all that were under the bridge, so it was like sheltered, and it was cold. It was January and it was, um, I think it did rain as well, but because we were in the shelter, that was all right. Um, yeah, so I was like, she has to be in this, she has to be in this. And I was like, have I been standing here for hours since she's not in this? And then obviously, like, the people are in photos and autographs and all that. And I was like, okay, she's not coming over this way lately. And they were like, have to do interviews you have to like go in and all that and i was like all right so people were starting to leave then so i was like all right i'm staying here she's gonna come back out she has to come back out she's not gonna sneak out the side door so we um waited um and i don't know how long we waited but um she was coming out then and obviously people were like you know the people on the carpet were like all right about getting in the car and I don't know what, I don't know if she said something or whatever, but she didn't get in the car. She actually came over and like, I can't think there was anybody like this side of me, but well, I mean, it probably wasn't because she came over, I think I was literally the first one. And I wish, I mean, I did get a picture, but it was so blurry. I wish I could have got a picture with her. I mean, I kind of did because there was footage of an interview she'd done on something. And I just had this white hat on. And you could spot it in the behind it. So I was kind of doing a photo of Elle Street. Um, but I was like a, like a, a better one, like a selfie kind of thing. But she signed, I said, it wasn't really an autograph, but she signed um, an autograph. Um, and I was like, oh, thank God, I waited. And not only that, where they got the, what you call it, it's the, um, it's not a poster, but the cardboard promotion things. They gave me one of those. Plus, I had one for Fantastic Mr. Fox as well. I mean, can you imagine trying? I mean, it's, I can't turn this around, but I mean, look at the wall behind me. It was probably from like there to about over there somewhere. I mean, I'm pointing more to the, almost to the corner, but it just looks like I'm pointing not far. But um, it's big. It's actually well, you can't even see it from the side. Well, it's literally probably the size of let me tell you, probably the size of my bed. So um, my bed is like pretty much level with um, my bed is 
ends bed there and then the other end is like here that's how wide it is and then it's obviously like that um yeah or if it, probably about the size of the Mamma Mia here we go away again poster I mean it's up on my wall but I mean if you'd seen them I would say cinemas that kind of size oh, I'm not going to say the other Mamma Mia poster because that's even bigger that's probably like double the size actually probably over double the size the other one um yeah anyway um enough about that I will talk to you in my next video okay hang on there's also rugby on tomorrow um where else are playing today Wales to win Scotland to play in Ireland Ireland to win and England and France just because I don't want France being like oh we won the Grand Slam blah 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 plus I'm half English I want England to win it just to stop them as well like we're probably gonna be so watch can I about that I'm like oh such a fuss and you didn't win the Grand Slam <laughs> um yeah that and um they announced the squad for the two England games coming up Harry is chosen which shouldn't really be a surprise because I mean he's captain um and what was the other thing I was going to say um what's something else Tottenham are playing wow what's something else what are you doing it's very something else I was it just about Tottenham I can't remember Oh, it's probably something else. I think it might have been Tottenham, but I can't remember. Anyway, um, so I will see you in my next video. See you then. Bye.